Hey guys, uh, today is another video. It's been a long time since I did a video. By the way, this video was supposed to be like an Easter video, but I only got it was two items. Oh yeah, by the way, do you like, like the shirt? Yeah, that because today's video is actually about a product that I actually had for an Easter gift. And uh, if you guys don't remember, um, if you guys remember my video a couple back where I did the, where I did these pops, that, um, which are these Scooby Doo and X Looney Tunes poster from Warner Brothers Hunter Jam. I actually have it, and we're gonna be unboxing it today. And since, well, I said I was gonna save it as an Easter gift, and since Easter was somehow two days ago, we're gonna be unboxing the. Sc we're gonna be unboxing the Scooby Doo Mystery Machine with Bugs Bunny. That's right, Funko finally did the Mystery Machine. Yes, so we're going to be unboxing this mystery machine and see how it is. Not only that, but we also have some, we also have some other mystery machines here because what we're going to do is we're going to put all the mystery machines, we're going to be size to compare all the mystery machines and compare them to the mystery machine from Funko. So hopefully we'll do this unboxing. This is actually the first time I've ever gotten this and, and I'm surprised we actually have the mystery machine. I do know one thing is this is probably gonna be kind of hard to put this in to uh, that container right there. Yeah, I'm gonna think of though. What I'm actually been thinking of doing is putting the. I might have to update the like, container for the Funko Pops because but now with the mystery machine going in with the pops, that'll be kind of nice. And again, Funko, you need to make some villains. You need to make Lucho characters as villains. That's the one thing. Yeah, so like the thing is, if Funko's gonna do these Warner Brothers and Scooby Doo crossover, they should at least do some villains to go with these guys. A matter of fact, someone actually commented me a whole list of villains of Lurcher characters with possible villain ideas. And I have to admit, Funko, what the heck? You need to start making some ideas, man. But yeah, so here he is the mystery machine. On the back of the box, it shows Funko Pop Rise, the mystery machine. And also have the other pops as well, which by the way, uh, right here all of them are. We have Fred as, we have Bugs Bunny as Fred, Lola as B, as Daphne, uh, Tweebird as Thelma, Daffy Duck as Shaggy, and Taz as Scooby-Doo. And actually, recently, they did a video where all these pops were mentioned. That's right, Brothers made a short video of this matchup, and yeah. And I will probably do a review on it, a reaction to this video. Uh, because one of the things I want to do this year is not only that I'm collecting probably playtime stuff, but I also want to do some reactions and stuff. Hopefully I don't get copyright claim or strikes on the reactions. But yeah, all in all, we're going to be unboxing this mystery machine. We're going to compare them to the other mystery machines and see how they fit in terms of size. So yeah, so let's just get this unboxing started. Okay... Okay, here it is, the mystery machine. Yeah, I am actually surprised. I'm actually surprised that Funko actually did make the mystery machine. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, by the way, we're gonna show you what the box looks like. Here's what it looks like. If you actually look inside, it shows all the names of characters. Oh yeah, by the way, I kind of zoomed in right here. Right there, Scooby-Doo. Oh, I guess you forgot to show you that. Yeah, Scooby-Doo is... Even the inside of the base has a lot of villains. Has a lot of TV shows. If you guys don't know this, one of them did turn 100 this year, which is kind of odd because Disney also turned 100, which is kind of odd that there's more Disney products than Funko did. So here it is, the mystery machine. It, I know it doesn't function as a mystery machine, but all in all, this is nice. So here's what it looks like. It, it, it looks, it looks highly detailed. It looks like the van from Scooby-Doo. Yeah, this is actually one of the big, 
So, all in all, I thought it was still gonna be that big, but we're gonna be in six. Yeah, we have Bugs Bunny driving the van. I mean, especially Bugs Bunny with Fred. I feel like they should do this van again with Scooby or Fred driving it. A lot of people were saying that. I wish they actually did that too. But all in all, all in all, we don't have all the mystery machines to size compare them. We're gonna actually gonna. So let's size compare all the mystery machines. So the mystery machines that I have here are the the Scoob one. Okay, so we're gonna be surprised. So, so one thing is that the mystery machine is so all in all, the Scoob mystery machine is a lot bigger than the play from the one Funko made. Um, let's check out the character mystery machine again. A lot taller. No. Let's talk. About, okay, let's check out the one that the model kid. Okay, from terms of size and comparison. Okay, so in terms of size and comparison, this is the model's mystery machine. This is the. I really like the model and the mystery machine are kind of a. Apparently, the mystery machine. So, all in all, the Scoob and the character mystery machine, they're a lot bigger. So. Because like, the thing is that they're going to make their ears. I feel like it's sort of cheating because with Bugs Bunny's ears. But in terms of the size of the van. Very, so it's, it's equal size to the character mystery machine. Let's compare them to the other mystery machines. So we have the mystery machine, which is actually a model. This is the bigger version of that. Okay, in terms of sizes, this one's a lot bigger than this one. We have the mystery machine monster truck, which I have to, I have to admittedly. That thing's not big enough. I even had to bring down. Then we have the we have the Hot Wheel mystery machine. Oh again, very small. And the So yeah, so here's what all the mystery machines are. So basically, so basically, so in terms of research, it turns out that the mystery machine here. So in terms of the terms of theories, the mystery machine, so basically the scoob. So my theory is that this mystery machine is actually a lot bigger than all the other mystery machines. Yeah, so if I was to compare them in terms of Actually, yeah. So here's all the mystery machines all together lined up. Yeah. So this is one I think it's a. I kind of now did a whole assortment of mystery machines. So if I was using the more smaller mystery machines, the Hot Wheels one, followed by the small mall kid one, and the monster truck version, the the bigger version of that one, the the size. The, so, for terms of that, the character, the model mystery, snapping mystery machine is a lot taller than the Funko Pop ride, and then the character in the one of Scooby Doo. So, yeah. So, all in all, this Pop ride is about the same size as the, the mystery machine model. It's a lot bigger than the Scoob version, and a lot smaller, a lot bigger than the Hot Wheels one. All in all, Oh yeah, by the way, this is actually kind of a big of a school strip. We also have a lot of mystery machines, though. It is nice, though, though. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, so the thing is, I feel like Fungo should do more... I'm surprised they actually did make the mystery machine, though. I wish they could have just did Fred. Which, I have to admit, it kind of feels like it sort of went with the line, too. They should have did, like, Fred, and that's it. But all in all, the pops... All in all, the mystery machine looks pretty good, though. I say that this is a pretty highly detailed man. I wish they actually did the rest. I feel like they should do another one of these mystery machines again, but this time with Fred driving it. But all in all, it looks okay. Hopefully Funko does. Hopefully Funko does more pops this year. I wish they can actually do um the uh, villains. I wish they did some villains. Like I feel like because one of the characters I want to see him doing is Marvin the Martian and villains. Someone actually commented on my latest video where I did the pops saying that the Funko should do more villains. 
I feel like they should do chicken. Someone said they should do Fargo and Lego and that's chicken sign. I feel like that could be kind of an idea. Uh, I don't know what his other ideas was, but I feel like Fargo and Lego as chicken sign is could be kind of nice. And I think Fargo did recently just drop a fa a Fargo and Lego and Palm in real life. So I feel like they should do. I feel like that's what they should do next. All in all, it's nice. It's a nice mystery machine, though. I give it a good ranking of 100 out. I'll give it a 10 out of 10 in terms of the in terms of the detail. The um, character driving the van of 5 out of 10 because I feel like they could have just did Fred driving the van. Which is still perfect for the line though. But I mean, they could have just thrown a little bit of just regular Scooby-Doo into the Mystery Machine. Rather than putting the whole Funko with Warner Bros. and Looney Tunes line. Yeah, someone did comment that Slap Chop Pops did a video dating about the Mystery Machine though. But if you guys actually collect the Funko Pop rides, this is actually a pretty decent ride itself. Um, all in all, this is actually the first Funko Pop ride. I do know it's going to be hassle putting this in with the rest of the vans. So, all in all, good ranking. Good job, Funko. Hopefully, you do more villains. So, yeah. So, see you guys. Have a, yeah, just stay, stay sort of busy right now. Yeah, so anyway, so make sure to leave a like. Comment down below what you think of the Mystery Machine. And comment below. And comment below what you think they should do villains next. I feel like this year we should get more villains. I mean, with Scooby Doo turning a hundred, with with Scooby Doo turning a hundred, I mean, uh, I mean, if Scoo if one of them turning a hundred, they should at least did Scooby Doo pops as villains. I feel like they should just did a whole line of that. But all in all, good job, um, good job, Funko. Again, make villains, please. So yeah, so make sure to leave a like, comment down below. And make sure to subscribe for more videos with more Scooby-Doo videos like this. I'll do more 100 anniversary videos. But all in all, the line's okay. I wish they could have did more villains. So, yeah. So, make sure to comment. 